Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today I would like to show you a very quick way to build this wire construction ring with the organic shape. Are you ready? Let's get started. We are coming into the front view and we would like to build the ring for whatever size you want. For this demonstration, the diameter is going to be 16 millimeter. And I'm also going to make a copy by dragging the gumball up to for whatever size that you want it. And on this top three um, control point, I'm going to drag it up for whatever that you like. So I can have an outline of this. You can build any of the outline you like. If you like to make them a little bit wider, you could do that as well. Notice whenever you are moving those control points, this is a degree two curve, so you will have the kink there. If you don't like to have a kink there, I will suggest you to rebuild your curve first into the degree three. And you can, as, as long as you have uh, more than those points, I will keep it even number. And then you can click OK. So now if you wanted to make them a little bit wider, something like that, and then you won't get the kink there. But uh, after rebuild, it may not be a perfect uh, egg shape as what you want there. So you can uh, build in any of the profile that you like. So now the third things that we wanted to do is creating the profile here. So let's go ahead to use the conic corners. And I would like to stay with the three points. So snapping quadrant, quadrant, and for whatever, how big you wanted it there. And you can do something like this. Okay, all right. So again, this is a degree two curve, and we want to rebuild it into a degree three. So I'm going to make it something like this. And I would like to moving this one back to the middle. So using the move tool, snapping into the quadrant, and snapping into the quadrant there. All right. So let's give it a try. We are going to use the sweep to command rail one, rail two, cross section. And I would like to move the seam to the inside of the ring shank. So we won't have any seam on the surface and I'll click OK for it. And we are going to manipulate it a little bit more. So I would like to turn on the control point and that's way too many points to edit. Right. So what we like to do is rebuild this guy and we want to rebuild build it with the last point and what we have here is u is 20 v is 10 i think that is good so i'm going to click ok and then i can turn on the control point all right so you can kind of uh, dragging any of those points to get whatever organic shape that you like or not only you can move you can also uh, scale them for example to make them a little bit bigger and you can also rotate the point so it the whole thing is going to shift something like this and you can also by just picking on the certain point if you do not want it to be so symmetrical and you can kind of play with it to get whatever shape that you like right so i simply going to pick up those points and drag it out and something like that all right so if that is something that you like and we are going to looking at those wire now the way to getting the curve here there are two ways to do it let me show you both way first you can coming into the curve and you got curve on an object and you can extract the wireframe. And then so then you get all this wire. So let me hiding this and you can pipe this, right? But it is kind of giving you some really nice and curve. If I pipe all of them, let's do that. And I would like to have the radius for 0.4 millimeter. And then I will get something like this. Okay, so that is one of the choice. We're going to move it here as the option. And now I'm going to turn it back with this ring. And the second ring I like to do is I actually like to have them with the straight section. In order to get a straight section, we can play with it is with them. We can play with the mesh. So let's use the mesh command. And then you're going to have this one over here. Now let's go ahead with the simple control. And I like to go into the few polygon and we want to preview. And it's still we have a lot of a curve there. All right. So once we see that preview, if you like that, that's perfect. If you feel like that's too much, um, 
too many lines there that you can come into the detail control. The minimum age is 0 0.0001. So I actually wanted to change this to 4. So the minimum age is 4 and let's see what happened. Now it's getting much, much bigger space because that's the minimum, right? So they, they should be bigger than 4. Let me try something even more. I'm going to try 5.5 .5 here. And let's give it a preview. As you can see, now it's more, even more pointed, right? So I want to, I want to show you a big uh, contract between those. So I'm going to stay with this and click OK. I'm going to moving the original one on the side so you can see. Now we have those really look like low poly line. We can use the same command from the the ring on the left. Uh, we're gonna come into the curve from the object and we want to extract the wireframe. So now if we hiding, this will be the wireframe. As you can see, all the curve is individual and they all degree cur to curve. All right, so now let's go ahead and pick up everybody and we are going to use the, the same radius then we will pipe this. All right. So that's turning into the render view. And then you can see the differences between those two. They are coming from this organic shape ring. And we have the round one or we have the uh, straight section. All you need to do is Boolean unit together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanted to learn more about Rhino 3D software and how to transfer a 2D image into 3D model, I have a free webinar to show you six different ways to transfer the 2D image into 3D model. The link is in the description below. It's completely free. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.